What is going on you guys? Steven from Optic Fishing. I know it has been a while. It's been a while since I made a video. We're here, Lake Casitas. Haven't been here in about three months. The water level's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, guys. The water level's so low, I can't even believe it. Hey yeah, guys, I kind of just want to make a little update video on how Casitas is. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. This all used to be water last time I was here. And as you can see, the water is all the way down there. I'm not too sure how the fishing's going to be right now, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to throw a Huddleston uh, bluegill, maybe like a Berkeley ghillie. Probably the old drop shot rubber worm, usual stuff. Now the day pass only lasts till 6.30, which is absolutely ridiculous. We will probably be here past 6.30, but I mean, just little things like this, guys, is the reason why I stopped coming here. Especially stupid signs like this says do not enter for absolutely no reason. But we're still here. We're still gonna fish it. We're just gonna try to make something happier so we can get a bite and see if we can catch fish. And uh, I'm gonna get tied up and get on it. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is this Huddleston Bluegill. I'm uh, kind of like a weedless swim bait. Kind of got messed up. I caught a couple of fish on this already the past couple of nights. But uh, yeah, I figure I'm gonna start with this guy. Hopefully I can get one on this swim bait, which would be absolutely insane. Uh, I think Brian's over there throwing a drop shot or something. So we'll see how we do. All right, so we're already leaving the first spot. Complete trash area. It's too shallow over there. We're gonna head back over to Coyote, give that area a shot, and uh, probably stay over there a little bit longer. So uh, we'll see you guys back at Coyote. All right, so this is the next spot we're gonna try. Fish all the way down there. All the way here, and I might get a couple casts under that dock down there, but uh, we'll see how we do here. See if we can pull something out on the crawler or on the uh, the robo. Oh, really? Yeah, Woo -hoo. hang on there, buddy. Don't you go under the dock? Watch that line. Yeah, he's going under the dock. Oh man, you got on film? Yep, well, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't scare him out. Yo, this is a solid one, dude. Go. Got him. Yes, nice. let's go. That's a decent one, dude. Look at that. That's a nice one. Woo! It's a nice bass. Oh, that's a nice one. That's my first Casitas bass in I don't even know how long. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, got myself a, I don't know, probably two, Hopefully three pounder. Started something. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Later, buddy, I appreciate you. You have a good one? There he goes. Dude, we've had 40 plus fish days from the shore yeah. out there. And one of my, a couple of my YouTube videos, like even on the boat too, like some insane days out there, but yeah. you got him? Got him. Let's go, Brian. You need a net? No. You sure? I'm gonna grab a net just in case. Oh, oh. There we go, Brian. There we go, Brian. Nice on the guy. on the dropper? Whoa. On the dropper shot? Drop shot. Oh. Dude, he fucking choked it right when it hit the water. Well, me, Brian, and a sea skip aren't getting skunked today. Sea skip, what is it? Decent sized bluegill. Holy crap! Yo! Yo! That thing is massive, bro. Dad! There we go. Look at it. Big old bluegill. Dude, that thing is massive, bro. And there it goes. Good job, sea skip. Good stuff. All right, so what seemed to be a slow trip at Casitas uh, turned to be a good one. As it was getting darker, we uh, saw our buddy Sea Skip down on the dock, caught a five and a half pounder. I think it was like, what, 5.6 pounds? Something like that. Absolutely insane. I'll leave a picture of it right here because I don't think I got a, I don't think I got a video of it, but I'll leave a picture of it right here. But uh, yeah, Sea Skip was killing it, caught all those bluegill. I caught a pretty decent sized one. Brian caught a good sized bass as well. But like I said, really slow start to the day. Luckily, we met up with our buddy Sea Skip. I appreciate him for letting us fish with him. And uh, yeah, guys, overall, pretty solid trip. Um, like I said, I know it's been a while since I've been posting videos. I'm going to try to keep posting them more often. And uh, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here. I'm a lot more active on TikTok, by the way, guys. So if you guys want to follow me on that, I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, like I said, I know it's been a while. It's good to be back. And uh, thanks for watching.